Basically, in a nutshell, what we are trying to do is to connect a very remote area, having very uh, high quality rice, to uh, a market in Western Europe that's asking for this rice and has trouble finding it. Uh, along the way, there are a number of uh, challenges. Um, one is that the, uh, there should be enough supply. So one of our key focus on this project is we are trying to enhance the yields and also the revenues of the local farmers that are in this uh, remote area. This is the area of Modelkiri. It's uh, a nine hour drive from, from Phnom Penh. It's a painful drive. Uh, I've done it now myself a couple of times. And, uh, but they're somewhere in the in the mountains where there are still it's an old protected area. There's still elephants walking about. There's a small valley and there's 15,000 farmers that try to make a living. Um, most of those farmers are actually women. We face the same problems as I mentioned before. The men they go off, uh, they either go to the city for jobs or they go to uh, Vietnam in our case uh, for jobs. And uh, so what we're trying to do is help them uh, to link their rice to Europe. We come to the same problems that were mentioned by the, the maize uh, value chain, aflatoxine, those kind of things. So what we want to do, first of all, we help the farmers by getting them uh, uh, organically certified, which immediately provides them with a 30-40% premium. Then we want to help them increase their yield. Um, then after they have higher yields and better quality, we are going to, or well, that's at least in the plan, what we want to do is create nearby a drying facility, storage facility, and milling facility, so that you safeguard the, the quality of the rice, and then make sure that there's a whole safe value chain towards uh, Europe, where in our case, Sunrise, which is a part of our family business, will guarantee a premium price and a, uh, a volume. So that kind of makes the whole supply chain uh, uh, functioning. And, and I think back to the first question was the PPP. It definitely helps that local parties involved, NGOs, uh, uh, and, and the local government. Going to the, to the, to the better jobs question, yeah, addressing it finally. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> what you see is for, so at this point in time, it's not interesting for the farmers to really put a lot of effort in. in, in, in uh, cultivating rice. Prices are low, and uh, so why, why bother? Mm -hmm. And now that we are increasing the price, it's not more interesting, we help them increase the yield, and therefore we really hope to achieve uh, a huge from uh, Thank you very much. Good luck.